Being the largest ships in most engagements, cruisers are often seen serving as capital ships in fleets. Bringing heavy firepower and strong armour, trading blows with a cruiser will usually end badly. Cruisers will typically sit above frigates in terms of size in a fleet. They use this extra size for production facilities, hangars and more spacious storage areas. However, this extra size makes them an easier target at range as well as for detection. Cruisers should be well armoured and protected. Since they are often vital in winning an engagement, they need to survive as long as possible during battle as to maintain command of the other vessels fighting. Cruisers generally have a well-rounded armament. They will mostly be targeting other cruisers and larger ships, so heavy gun batteries are preferred. It's also important to ensure good firing arcs all around the cruiser. Since smaller craft will try to flank you, it's best to be able to hit targets on all sides. A point defence field around a cruiser is crucial. Since they can operate on their own, this will help protect them from multiple smaller vessels. For a point defence grid, it's best to have custom PDCs or flak turrets. These can make short work of fighters and bombers. Although cruisers can rely on screening vessels while in fleets, if serving alone, they will need to defend themselves against multiple smaller targets. Heavier weaponry like assault cannons and missile turrets can be useful against frigates and larger ships. These provide quick bursts of area damage. Assault cannons in particular are cheap to build and fire. But mainly, cruisers should focus on fielding long-range, armour-piercing weaponry, such as artillery turrets or custom assault cannon turrets. This allows them to engage targets at longer ranges and focus specific systems on enemy cruisers. Custom-made torpedoes can provide excellent damage against enemy cruisers and larger ships. These can be implemented as torpedo tubes or externally mounted non-reloadable torpedoes. Cruisers play a key role in the fleet. They should be self-sufficient anchors containing full production facilities and hangar complements to land and repair fighters. During battle, cruisers should typically focus their fire on other cruisers or capital ships, whilst also taking most of the punishment from the enemy cruisers. They can also operate on their own missions, carrying their own defence squadrons if needed. The cruiser class also has many specialised variations, such as light, heavy and artillery cruisers. Light cruisers are less heavily armoured and smaller in size, while still maintaining the capabilities of a cruiser at the cost of survivability. Heavy cruisers bring heavier armour and more firepower at the cost of manoeuvrability and price. Artillery cruisers focus on bringing the biggest weapons to bear in an engagement, often built around a single turret or gun emplacement. Please remember, these videos are my opinion and are not solid fact. Anyone can choose how they wish to class their own ships, I'm just voicing how I go about it in my own ships. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel, and as always, take care, everybody.